Whale Shark consumes held food to gain plus two plus two in stats. This weekly is chock full of held foods, making it the perfect setup for a level three squirrel. The plan is, freeze a couple held foods at the end of the round and feed them for free to your Whale Shark at the start of the next round. Scaling is really consistent, the only question is whether you can outscale the Kraken Snipe squads. All right, jumping right into it. We got Seahorse, we got Otter. We got another seahorse and a couple fish. Some glamorous doggies. No doggies on the team, but maybe it's an omen. Okay, this is not going to end well. <laughs> Unfortunately. We get our fish in here. Ooh, okay. I like it. Run like this. Hopefully this 3-4 in the front is enough. Okay. Maybe. It might be. It is. Okay, we're good. We're good. The otter holds it down. Alright. We're going to combine here first. Start me with a level. I mean, ox is just a natural, right? Throw in the ox. Throw in the otter. And let's roll one. See what we get. Hold on to the shrimp just in case. I mean, Bigfoot's pretty good here. We're gonna like this. The spider was tempting, but I don't think we need it. Okay. They've got a big ol' homie there, but we're alright. We're getting there. Another Bigfoot, huge. I mean, straight up I'll throw a fried shrimp on you. That helps enormously, I would say. Oh, heck yes, dude. Heck no, dude. <laughs> I don't... I'm generally... Maybe if it was like a huge summon build, sure. Like summon weekly. I don't like the dog that much. I don't think he really has what it takes. And we are good. I've seen a few dogs and they've worked okay, I'll say, but yeah, not not fantastic. Let's throw a kangaroo in the mix. Roll. Love the otter. I mean, an early whale shark kind of goes hard. I say we send it. And another whale shark. Ooh, I love it. Okay. And then maybe we just grab some held foods for our whale shark. Just invest everything in the whale shark, you know? Could be good. It could be what it needs. What this build needs to take off. We go here. Honestly, I think this makes sense. I know we're not making great use of our, you know, we got guys here, right? But I don't know if these guys are even going to stay. Like the kangaroo, I'm not even going to freeze it. I don't think we need the kangaroo. I still don't think we need it. <laughs> Though I will say it's a little bit tempting. We're not like this. Alright, the snipes are coming out in full force already. Almost had him too. Okay. We go here. Hold on to you. I mean, straight up, I think this makes sense. Squirrel is huge. Yeah, we get rid of you. Throw the squirrel in the mix. And high key, I think we do this. Another squirrel. Oh, baby. Don't mind if I do. I think squirrel whale shark is goaded. Yeah, that, that combo's gonna get you. Most times. <laughs> Nine times out of ten. Yeah. 
Okay, so this is actually perfect. We can save our rerolls because we have exactly what we need. We have exactly 10 gold to spend right away, which is great. We could throw in a Botata, perhaps. I don't know if it's really doing it for us, though, you know? Actually, we do use our rerolls to get more held foods for the squirrel. And a whale shark. Can't hurt. Yeah, I think this is the play. You goofball, you overrode your guy too quick. Alright, we draw. Now we're on tier 5. Level up, we get a lionfish tiger. We don't really have a great play for the tiger. I'm thinking maybe we just say thanks, but no thanks. Hold on to you. I guess we can throw you in. Axolotl's not bad. Helps out with our whale shark there. Huge. Okay. I like where we're at right now. And then hair axolotl. You can get it even remotely cooking, you're good. Okay. Not quite enough. This is where we're gonna run into issues. They got Krakens. Krakens are gonna nuke us more often than not. I think we do this. I think we need another whale shark out here. I don't even know if hair is gonna be useful. It's hard to say. We would basically be swapping out our our Bigfoot with a hair. Which like maybe that's worth it. I don't know. TBD, I guess, on that one. That's not gonna do it. The butterfly gets us. Okay. Yeah, see, like, the ox, <laughs> he's not even getting to attack, which is a real bummer. Start me here. I think if we throw hair in the front, we'll at least have better chance of attacking. <laughs> Marginally. Um, yeah, this is good. See if you can attack multiple times, which you probably won't, but maybe, maybe, maybe. Every situation where the whale shark or the, the hair would be amazing, it just auto gets sniped. <laughs> it's not even close. You hate to see it. Go here. Go here. And we probably don't need a tier 3 squirrel at this point. I'm not sure what we need though. <laughs> That's the issue. Right, like there's so many... So many ways that this can go. And very few of them are good. Get you cooking a little bit. And I think we just do like this. If we had a tier 3 axolotl, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, that's unfortunate. It's just not happening. It's just so easy to just nuke it with a crack in. Alright. Be some tired truckers. Feel for them. 
I honestly don't know how people do it. Like, full-time truckers. I'd get so... Well, bored for one, but also just straight up tired. That sounds very difficult. Start me here. Don't love a kangaroo. Level me. It'd be fine running this. Have a little elephant holding down the back. Beautiful. Doing exactly what we were hoping for him to do. Throw you in the mix. Throw you in the mix. That's just horrendous. No thank you. Dude, we're doing the fish play. <laughs> I'm telling you already. It's happening. Mmm, the math is just so close there. Start me here. Run a squirrel. Get rid of you. One more fish would be huge. Okay. Give me a fish. Just, just fish me. <laughs> fish me, please. Go here. Here. Still waiting on a fish. It'll come, don't worry. We'll get there. Sniping our strongest unit, of course. That's natural. Squirrel. Squirrel. Hmm. Could run an eagle. We get rid of you. Throw an eagle in the mix. There's our fish. Maybe a lynx. Good old 5-7 lynx. Naturally, that hits the perfect unit for him. Alright, level me here. And then... Level me. Pretty good hits. Obviously we're gonna avocado here. I think that's pretty good too. So we got a bunch of levels for this Lynx. So hopefully that does well for us. So far so good. What does our squirrel get for us here? That's fine, I guess. I don't think we want the other pineapple. Ooh, a cow. I think we can get rid of you. In real talk, I think the food dog can probably go as well. Let's do it like this. Maybe you just gotta get a bunch of food scaling, you know? Maybe that's the play. Pretty good, pretty good. What if we ignore the Stingray? And then we just go full send this build. <laughs> See how far it can take us. We go here, here, here. It's a good level. I don't 
think we need these guys. Axolotl, maybe, but still probably not. I'm liking the cow setup. Cow just seems like a really solid unit here for us. Hmm, you got the big dog. Big dog out of the eagle. Let's get this cow cooking. <laughs> Maybe wide stats is the way to do it. You know, get everybody going. Could be good. Could be good. Hold on to the sushi. Oh, three, three, never hurt nobody. We actually probably shouldn't have the eagle in front. I don't think just in case they have a, a scorpion, you know? Start me here, go here. I think we do this. Roll me. Alright, we'll freeze. I like the cow. Is this enough? Probably not. <laughs> I would reckon. Of course, I forgot to move the eagle. We are okay. But yeah, before I forget, swap you around. Throw these guys in, get the cow cooking some more. Right, we gotta spread out the love. Make sure we don't get memed too hard by a scorpion. I like the level 2 whale shark here. Fantastic. The eagle actually kind of hurt us there a little bit with the summon, but we made it. We got there. And now we rolling. So interestingly, we can't actually do anything with this cow now. We kind of have to get rid of him. I'm going to say we go for... We could do a lynx or we could do a snake. I'm thinking a snake. Run a snake here. Seems pretty good. Good hit by the snake. Solid. I mean, we're just getting big enough, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I guess we can run this. I was gonna say, I don't really know if it's that good, but... I guess it's probably not that bad either, right? Get a chocolate if we tie here. I mean, I guess. <laughs> this is like the practical whale shark build, right? And maybe that's what we need. Just buy a bunch of cows, get some wide scaling. Not loving the Basilisk this weekly, but I'll give him a shot. Some warm-ish masseuses. Not quite what you're hoping for, but it'll get the job done. Ooh, just kidding, Basilisk is fantastic. Here and I mean straight up I'll run a level 3 basilisk if you want to give it to me I'll do it warmish masseuses coming in right in the middle of the pack love me a food dog I think we can do this. I think this is solid.
huge. Absolutely love it. <laughs> oh, baby. Yeah, I don't care about either of those, even like a little bit. I mean, we could run a spider. It's probably, albeit not very, but slightly better than not running a spider. Hey, we got a sheep out of it. That's what matters. Okay, start me with a food dog Bigfoot combo. Another food dog. Our four squads is going off, hopefully soon. And by four squad, of course, I don't actually mean four squad. <laughs> I just mean that the four tier units are doing work. Okay, so now we'll get rid of you. I mean the fish, I would have loved to get another fish, don't get me wrong, but if it's not gonna happen, it's not gonna happen, you know? That's just how it is sometimes. Okay, good math for us, I'm liking it. Okay, so we're on tier 4, our whale shark should be a pretty solid head start here. Level me. Um, I think Stingray is pretty solid here. Maybe we get rid of Foo. Like maybe we don't really care about getting the, you know, the big scorpion or something. Yeah, let's get Stingray cooking. We don't even know if we're going to find any more Foo dogs, right? Found him. <laughs> there he is. Anyway, there's a whale shark, we got a level, and a squirrel. That's awesome. Take that any day. Now we just need the hatching chick. Hmm, almost. Almost had him. So level me here. I like Mosasaurus, of course, with our toy setup. What if we do this? I mean, maybe we get rid of you. I mean, the six health is kind of a lot still. What if we go like this? Who do we want to be buffing here? I don't know, maybe the six health isn't that much? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure what to think. All right, you know what? Let's do it like this. I'm making the executive decision here. Huge. Okay. And I, do we want Bigfoot here? Maybe we do it like this. We don't, no, I like Bigfoot. The free rerolls actually do help out a ton. I don't mind keeping him around. Hmm, I think... If we had a, a couple more triggers on the whale shark, I think we would have had him. Okay, so let's go here. Here. Double feed you. And then now that we have our free rerolls, Let's get some more held food. I'm loving the whale shark. Unfortunately, we didn't find more held food. That would have been very nice. Okay, they turned our hatching chick into a rock. <laughs> I guess. Whatever. Squirrel me. And hatching chick. And whale shark. Okay. So this is what we have to work with here. What are we looking to do? I mean, tiger doesn't really have a... It could, it could do a Bigfoot. 
thing. What if we do this, though? You know, like, what if that's just the play? Okay. I'm glad we found that. We run another whale shark? Maybe. I mean, I'd love a hatching chick, but I think he might be going soon. Don't tell him, though. Don't want to make him sad, you know? Okay, so now we do this. Throw you guys in. And then we get the manta ray. And now we look for health foods. And we're good. I'm liking this. I'm liking where we're at right now. Perfect. We're just tanky enough to survive it. The onslaught. Now we do this, a little double up here, and then let's go whale shark, whale shark number two. I'm hating that we keep missing these held foods, that's so much scaling just down the drain if we don't hit it. Okay, we got one, so that's that's better than nothing, I guess. <laughs> Not by much. Um, I guess now we can go squirrel. Let's do this, and I want to find another whale shark here, and or chocolate. Ooh, that's it. And now we can freeze held foods and get you cooking up. Um, avocado's good, I guess, right? Just some free gold. So basically, if they get through our two front units, we're dead. If they don't, we're not dead. <laughs> so, you know. Is that a good system? Maybe not. Is that our system? Most definitely. I don't think the chocolate, I mean, we're on nine wins. We're just looking for as much scaling as quick as possible. So if we lose here, we're gonna get a huge power spike again. But it's kind of looking like we're good. The donkey helped us. <laughs> it cleared his, uh, whatchamacallit, his stake with our squirrel. Okay. So I guess if you just scale up quick enough here on your whale sharks, though, okay. Disclaimer, I will admit it might have been the giant, what was that, 1818 buff on the Bigfoot who made him effectively, uh, Another whale shark. Yeah. Maybe that. But let's be let's be clear here. Bigfoot level three. I'm, I'm saying it. It is always a good sign. <laughs>